So making progress, the hood is back on, it is on the lift. So uh, I had some help this week. Uh, I put the hood back on and I pushed it over onto the lift uh, so I could work on everything on the bottom of the truck. But first thing I wanna do tonight when I got in here was get the uh, transmission cooler mounted. So what I've done here, and this thing is robust because I don't know what I was thinking, but it worked out really well. So this is a, a derail uh, trans cooler. I'll drop a link in the description below of which one I bought. Um, that's a pretty nice unit. So I basically just got some aluminum angle stock and mounted it to the core support up here and then down here. Um, and the way it just bolts on, uh, I've only got a couple bolts in here because I ran out of quarter inch bolts, but I'm going to go uh, get nylocks and do the whole thing up. And these things are actually turned around so you don't only see the head here and here and then, you know, just short enough that the uh, the, the, the nut uh, just have barely any threads, so size them correctly. But it mounts on, well, you can see it over here. It's got two bolts per side on this flange uh, here and here. Uh, I turned it on its side because it was actually too wide to fit because I originally was going to mount it to the core support right here and run a strap here, but it was too wide. The, uh, the mount here for the uh, latch assembly was, it was just, it was like a half inch uh, into it. So I ended up just flipping it up on its side. It'll work good like that too. Um, just been playing with some lines here. I'm mocking up some lines. This is my line coming from the uh, uh, radiator and this will be going to the transmission. So I'm just kind of mocking up, see how I want to do it. Um, right now, uh, I've got the lines. I've been kind of playing around with, it's kind of dark with the hood on here, but I've been playing around with lines, running them down. This one here is coming from, well, that's actually coming from the transmission or the cooler up front, but this one here is coming down the passenger side or the driver's side frame rail. And then I've got another one that's plugged in here, actually that goes down the driver's side or the pat, God, I'm, I can't talk tonight, goes down the uh, passenger side. So I don't know. I originally was just gonna run them all down here, but just kind of when I got it up on the lift, it looks like I can tuck them in that way too. So I, now that I got this thing mounted, I'm gonna go ahead and see what I want to do as far as uh, which way I want to go. But um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I didn't tape any of this because I was kind of in a groove and I just kind of got going. So um, as you can see, it's got a, a complete angle on the one side, and then it's just got two stubs here and here on the, uh, the other side here just because it has the bosses for the uh, uh, in and out so uh, plenty strong it's not it doesn't even move I'm moving the truck here so um, that's pretty much it so I'm going to kind of keep going with the trans lines get them lined up get them finished out so that I can start working on um, I think I'm going to seal the oil pan because I actually have not done that yet but now that I have it on a lift I'm going to do it so I can drop the pan just enough so that I can put the uh, RTV in each corner put it back up, tighten it up, and then just kind of start going through my checklist. My sh checklist went from two pages down to, I don't know, 15 lines. So, or my to-do list that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start, you know, plugging away at them, getting everything done. Uh, battery came in, long story short, <clears throat> excuse me. I was trying to get an AC Delco battery. Um, O'Reilly actually had it for a really good price, but the only warehouse that had it was Florida. and well, Florida's like a like a whole other country, trying to get things in and out of there. I do it on a daily basis with work. I don't know, sometimes, I don't know what the deal is, but nonetheless, short story, they couldn't ship it, they wouldn't ship it, whatever it was. So the guy who works at O'Reilly over here is actually a neighbor of mine. I didn't even know that. Um, I walked in, I was like, hey, man, what's going on? But anyway, he ended up giving me, this is a superstar, you know, their house brand, Extreme or whatever this thing is. Uh, ended up giving me for the same price as a... Uh, um, AC Delco because I waited two weeks for it and never showed up. So, uh, that's it here. Um, waiting on the battery cables. They're supposed to be actually here tomorrow. Um, and then I don't know if any of you Eagle Eye people have noticed, but that is still the 1972 issue rag joint. Um, I ended up going and buying, oh, it's under here somewhere. It's the mains, uh, 201. So a new coupler. So I can put on that. It was like, 10 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and swap that out because everything else in the steering is new. And this thing, actually, I was watching it when you're turning um, the safety pin here. Let me get that hose out of the way. Actually, will go and contact each side when I'm turning. So it's got a little bit of slop in it. So I'm going to swap that out. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get back to work, quit rambling, and see where this goes. Okay, so the transmission lines are done. I've got them all finished up. Um, 
pretty simple. Um, I, I just kind of, um, you know, do what I did last time in the last video and how I installed the ends. I just kind of, you know, just kind of ran them the way I think I want to run them and uh, marked them and cut them and put the ends on. So I actually have this hooked up the same way that the six liter that I bought came uh, from the factory. And that is from the transmission, the outlet port here on the front, get the flashlight up there. So there's two ports. There's one back there and there's one here. So the one on the front here actually goes to the radiator first and it goes to the top port on the radiator. Now I know that there's been some, there's a bunch of people saying do it a bunch of different ways. You know, there's probably, honestly, it probably doesn't matter. So I hooked it up just like it came out of the vehicle it came out of, which is a Yukon. Uh, so it goes into the top of the radiator and the bottom of the radiator comes out and it actually goes into the top of my external cooler and then out from the bottom of the external cooler to the back port on the 480. So worked out pretty good. Um, I kind of have the wire, all the wires, all the lines run the way I want to run them, uh, roughly. So they're kind of zip tied, you know, roughly in place. And I'm going to put, uh, you know, proper hangers and clips on all this, but it kind of, you know, everything really tucks in real nice, uh, just kind of right here. So, and then I'm going to run it behind this cross member here, this front cross member in the truck here. Uh, so it's going to go across here to the passenger side. And I did decide to do that just because it worked out perfect. So the lines come down here and then go into the transmission. And a fun fact about this is I bought two 40 foot rolls of hose when I started this project to do the fuel lines and the transmission lines. And I had to cut nothing. There is nothing left. Um, so these two lines and the fuel lines are exactly 40 feet total, which is, which is crazy. Uh, just dumb luck. So uh, I've got all those in. Um, I think what else here? So I am going to um, tighten them all down and uh, kind of run them real nicely and put the clips on them. So and here's you can see the fuel lines here. So I run the fuel lines down the back of the engine on, on top of the transmission here. And you can kind of see them up there. Uh, and then over to the frame rail here on the, pat or the driver's side here. Uh, I've got a filter here and let me get the flashlight out of the way. It's an aeromotive filter. Uh, I like to support them. They're actually local. They're like six miles from my shop here. So uh, I use them uh, whenever I can. So this is a uh, 10 micron filter uh, in line on the supply side. Uh, it's got a, a bag filter in the tank, which is actually an aeromotive pump and a filter in there as well. Um, so everything's kind of just loosely installed right now. Um, basically what I am going to do next is just kind of start chipping away at my list. So I got the lines done. That was my main goal tonight. So I think I'm going to work on, uh, sealing the oil pan up, which I've got just enough room up there to drop it down enough to put uh, some RTV in there. No big deal. Um, and then just start kind of working my way, uh, through my list. You know, it's a short list. I got to drop the tank one more time, finish up the wiring here. Um, for the uh, pump and the le uh, fuel level sender. And that's what this, this red wire is right here is actually for my uh, um, uh, fuel pump. So I'm gonna put that in some loom, um, just tidy up everything. Right now everything's just kind of loosely run. So I've kind of got, you know, fuel lines over here. So just get everything installed permanently. Um, finish the tank. I gotta cut the hole in the bed, which is uh, <laughs> gonna be nerve wracking. Uh, I got to buy a $35 hole saw just for that, but i um, got the wiring harness. I'm going to kind of see it up there on top of the transmission. I need to uh, tie it back, so it's done. I've got this orange wire here, too, and this is a, a wire from the ECM that uh, you hook up to the range sensor here. So there is a pin on the range sensor that goes ground uh, in park and neutral to tell the ECM that, hey, we're not going anywhere idle accordingly. So I'm going to wire that in. Um, I still have not set my, uh, my uh, angle yet. I need to get an, my angle finder up here and see where I'm at as far as uh, my uh, rear end and my transmission to get the uh, pinion angle right. Um, Got to order a, a motor mount. This is just a cheapy $7 one from um, Napa in here right now, uh, the junky ones, uh, which is kind of a placeholder. Um, brake lines, you got to put the brake lines in. I've got the, uh, the down lines coming out down here. Um, gonna run those and you know, just just a bunch of other little piddly stuff. So, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna quit rambling now. Uh, sorry for the short video tonight. Uh, it just kind of it was kind of time consuming stuff, and it's just kind of how this always goes. Kind of sound like a broken record, but it just kind of takes time to do all this stuff. So, 
Uh, anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. Um, the subscriber rate is going crazy. I do appreciate everybody for uh, subscribing. Uh, it's unreal. But, you know, I, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I'd love for you guys to share it, tell your friends, tell your family, you know, get them all in here. You know, let's, let's talk. Um, love, love the comments. Keep them coming. Um, that's about it. So I appreciate everybody watching and we will see you next time.